the African scene, let's start with the COP28. Well, with African countries defending their large delegations at the two-week event, looking at facts first, by the UN's attendance list, Nigeria, Morocco, Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana and Uganda were among the nations with the largest teams. Nigeria topped the list with 1,411 delegates, followed by Morocco with 823 delegates and Kenya with 765. Responding to the criticism, representatives from Nigeria and Kenya clarified that a significant number of their delegates comprised individuals representing the media, media, civil society, amongst other sectors that they mentioned. Delegates, other delegates were participating remotely. Now, this is according to Nigeria. They say the size of its delegation reflects the country's pivotal position. Now let's head to Libya. Libya dismantles illegal good mining network according to a source. Now the search for gold was carried out by Chinese, Chadian and Nigerian nationals staying illegally in Libya. An illegal gold mining network led by a Libyan carried out gold mining activities in violation of regulations and without the agreement of the authorities in four sides in the desert of southern Libya. The prosecutor's office said this in a statement. Well, according to the statement, the five suspects were arrested. Photos released by the prosecutor's office shows shallow rectangular poles the size of Olympic swimming pools, dug in the middle of the desert and nuggets and ingots of black and gold metals were seized. Well, in South Africa, South Africa intercepts buses carrying more than 400 unaccompanied children from Zimbabwe. A huge number of the world didn't know that more than 1 million Zimbabweans live in South Africa, many of them illegally, having moved to their southern neighbor over the past 15 years to escape Zimbabwe's economic turmoil. Well, that was until the South African Border Management Agency uh, Commissioner Mike Masiapato said Sunday that South African police stopped and searched 42 buses entering from Zimbabwe on Saturday night and found 443 children under the age of eight traveling unaccompanied. Now, the officials say the children were being traffic trafficked uh, into South Africa. Although an organization representing foreign nationals living in South Africa say it's likely the children were being sent to their parents who were working in South Africa for the end of the year holidays and not necessarily trying to be exploited. What about West Africa? Parliament dissolved after a coup cool attempt. Elements of the National Guard burst into the premises of the judicial police on Thursday evening to extract the Minister of Economy and Finance, Suleiman Saidi, and the Secretary of State for the Public Treasury, Antonio Montero, who were being questioned there. Then they took shelter in a military camp in the capital, Bissau, and resisted with arms until Friday morning. The clashes left at least two dead. They are seen as a new illustration of the deep political fractures at the heart of the state between the presidency and the government, which also runs through the security forces. President Mbalo accuses parliament of having preferred to defend members of the executive suspected of active corruption, seriously harming the higher interests of the state rather than fighting for the rigorous application of the law and to exercise its role of controlling the action of the government. Well, Niger ends two European Union security missions while moving closer to Russian delegates and welcoming them. Well, Niger's military junta since it assumed power has systematically and gradually cut ties with the West who had a partnership with Bazoum but it's slowly forming an alliance with Russia, welcoming a Russian delegation to Miami. Well, in the most recent, the Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced in a press release the denunciation of the agreement entered into the, by the state of Niger with the European Union relating to the Euro European civilian missions, UCAP Sahel Niger, active since 2012. Now, the ministry also declared the withdrawal by the state of Niger 
of the consent granted for the deployment of an EU military partnership mission in Niger named EUMP. Well, the Nigerian government adds that it decides to withdraw the privileges and immunities granted within the framework of this mission without exactly giving details. While Niger actively um, cut ties with from the rest of the West, the Russian delegation led by the Deputy Minister of Defense, Colonel General Yunus Bek Yekurov, was received on Monday by the head of the Nigerian military regime, General Abdurrahman Tiani. Well, at the end of this meeting, the two parties signed documents as part of the strengthening of their military co corporations, indicated the Nigerian authorities. Well, this is about it for the African scene. Moving up, we'll get into the global scene.